the problem is to find out the magnetic flux density b given a current density j a current density j is equal to j not e to the power mod x by a flowing in the y direction in an infinite non magnetic medium find the resulting magnetic field or magnetic flux density b everywhere using del cross b is equals to mu not j before we get into solving the problem let us for a moment understand how the current density looks like so if we can actually plot the current density in the x y z plane so the current density is basically along the y direction here as shown in the picture and the magnetic flux density will be determined the direction of the magnetic flux density will will be determined by the right hand thumb rule now if we have to understand the del cross b or what components exist and what components do not we we'll have to just figure out or understand better how exactly the current density varies with respect to change in the x so let us assume for a moment that a is phi and so consequently we will have this expression for j and for different values of x we figure out what the current density is equivalent to now if we plot the current density uh, as shown here in this diagram the remember the current is actually flowing perpendicular to the plane of this particular video so it is flowing towards towards the viewer and so x is along this direction x is increasing along this direction and the current density is along the direction perpendicular to the plane of this video towards the viewer so as we see the current density decreases in its value as x increases also because current density and magnetic flux density are related proportionally so we have that the magnetic flux density also become weaker and weaker as we move away from x so we can summarize the entire description in this particular format so as x increases the current density decreases and so the magnetic flux density also decreases so the actually the, it's a wrong symbol here the current density decreases with increase in x so also we see that as z or z increases or decreases neither j nor b does have any change so it is actually a constant because we do not see any change here in the current density or the magnetic flux density as per the given equation and so do b by do z is equal to zero which means the partial differential of the magnetic flux density along the z direction or the z direction is zero now we can go ahead and solve the rest of the problem as simply as this we know that del is a differential operator given by do by do x along x direction do by do y along y direction plus do by do z along x a z direction now we know that b can be written as bx along x direction by along y direction and b z along z direction where ax ay and az are unit vectors along the three principal axes now del cross b is given by the matrix ax ay az do by do x do by do y do by do z bx by bz and this will be equal to mu not 
j naught e to the power mod x by a along the direction a y now we can make a few simplifications here because our result and current density is only along the y direction so we see that the remaining quantities here will automatically vanish so we just need to worry about what comes along with this y direction of the magnetic flux density when multiplied with the or when it is cross multiplied with the del operator so from the determinant expansion we know that uh, the y component is basically just dou by dou x of bz this cross multiplication minus dou by dou z of b x which is equals to mu naught j naught e to the power mod x by a in the y direction now we can further simplify this we know that this particular dou by dou z of b x will go to zero because we already determined that there is no change in flux density along the z direction and hence dou, z, dou by dou z of bx will go to zero so what we are left with is basically minus dou by dou x of bz is equal to mu naught j naught e to the power mod x by a so this is the numerical uh, simplification of b uh, the magnetic flux density further we go ahead and find what bz is bz will be minus integration of mu naught j naught e to the power mod x by a dou z now we basically this is dou b z so we integrate on both sides and hence this integration comes in picture so b z becomes minus mu naught j naught e to the power mod x by a dou z the integral of this plus a constant now this entire problem can be split into two parts because we have a mod x we can figure out what the integral will be for x greater than zero and for x less than zero now for x greater than zero the integral will be minus mu naught j naught e to the power minus mod x by a into minus 1 by a plus c1 that is equals to mu naught j naught e to the power minus x by a plus c1 and for x less than 0 minus mu naught j naught e to the power x by a into 1 by 1 by a plus c2 that is equals to minus a mu naught j naught e to the power x by a plus c2 now we have the final requisite answer that defines what the magnetic flux density is so this is bz thank you